One of my absolute favorite parts of designing branding for a client is creating a brand pattern. Brand patterns can be used in so many different ways from packaging to merch to say in this instance of my matcha cafe takeaway cups. So let's dive into episode four of designing branding and make a brand pattern for Whisk, the gourmet matcha cafe. I started off by drawing out some of the elements that I wanted to include in my pattern in Adobe Fresco. I used the vector brush so that I could then easily just open the drawings up in Adobe Illustrator and they would already be vectorized and ready to go. I've opened up the sketches that I drew in Adobe Fresco in Adobe Illustrator and now I'm going to use these to make my pattern. So I've started arranging the illustrations in this square of green because this is the background I want my pattern to have and now I'm going to select this whole tile and I'm going to go to object pattern make and you'll see it gives me a preview and it also gives me this box um, where I can change some of the parameters. Now the first thing I want to do is fill in some of these gaps around the edges so I'm just going to copy some of the leaves and use them to fill up the gaps and you'll see that if I go off the edge it doesn't cut it off and I can control that with this overlap section of the panel here so if I change this it's going to change which side overlaps and the same for the top and the bottom. So I think that's looking pretty good. We've got one little gap here so let me just add another leaf in there and then once I'm happy with how my pattern is looking all I need to do is click done and then it's gonna save it to the swatches for me and then if I create a box and choose the swatch then it's gonna fill in the pattern for me now I want to do another one with these um, sort of square icons keeping it really simple so it doesn't have to be a square when you create the pattern so here I've got a rectangle that I want to repeat so I'm going to choose object pattern make again now this looks a bit weird because they're all in a row so what I want to do is head to tile type and I'm going to choose brick by row now a half offset works perfectly for what I want to create because I want this sort of like gingham pattern but if I go into this drop down I can also change it to other offset set amounts which might work better for other patterns that you're working on but I'm going to keep mine at a half so that's my next pattern done and again if I just click on this box it saved it to my swatches and then I can just click there and it appears now you might be looking at this and thinking oh this is not the right size for what I want it's not filling the box how I want it to now one option would be to select the tile that you created make it smaller for example if that's what you want it to be and redo the pattern but another way you can deal with that is click on the box and go to the scale tool in the left hand menu double click on the scale tool and you'll see that it has shrunk the whole thing to 70% which is not what I want so I'm going to uncheck transform object and now it's just scaled the pattern to 70% because I've only got transform pattern selected instead of the whole object and I can go in and tweak this so if I make this 50% it's going to make the pattern smaller again so that's an easy way to adjust the size of your pattern within the box without trying any of this which just doesn't work I made a few other color variations down here and you could have a play around with all sorts depending on your brand and what needs that you might have for merch or anything like that. If you're designing branding for a client and you need to present your patterns to them, I would really recommend knocking them up so that the client can see what they might look like in a real use case. I downloaded some mockups from Adobe Stock and I want to show you how easy it is to add your patterns to them. So first up I just need to get my layers panel up and then it's a case of double clicking on the smart object and then I've got my patterns here so I'm just going to drag it over then I'm just going to close the window and hit save and then immediately it appears on my cup. I'm going to do the same again with this one. This time I'm going to add the other pattern I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to close the window and hit save and there we have it. Now one thing I would like to try is how the logo looks on top of these patterns as well. So I'm just going to open this one back up again and I'm going to grab the logo and I'm just going to drag it on. 
and I'm just going to resize it into place and we'll just sort of judge where I think it should go and then again we will click save and there we have our whisk logo now obviously the orange isn't very on brand so if I just toggle down caps and left and right I should be able to find the color of these and if I just double click here I can use the pet tool because I want to get this gray from the logo which I think will work really well so we'll just put that in there I could also go in and find the hex code from the brand colors and that is looking really nice let's just have a quick look at what it might look like on a matcha bag so the same sort of thing again we just double click on the smart object we'll grab the pattern and the logo and I'll just quickly resize those and very quickly we will have our packaging for some matcha coming together nicely so let's see how this looks on the bag oh I love it and I love that you can see the texture as well so let's just quickly update this one we could play with having the logo this way and see how it turns out and this is what I love about it is that it's such a good way to just try things out and see how the designs and the branding are working in a real life situation so I'm just going to close that and click save and here it is starting to come together and then these mock-ups I can use to show to potential clients or to share on social media and start to give people a feel of the branding and of the cafe. I hope you enjoyed this episode learning how to make patterns for your brand. Let me know below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to Adobe Live.